Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to Moonlighter. Now Moonlighter's not coming out for about a week and I got a code a little early thanks to the developers over at 11, 11 bit and if you've heard of 11 bit, they've done a ton of things. Um, you can check it out. I think I recently just did Frostpunk a little bit by 11 bit. But Moonlighter, the, the pitch I have for you is you run a shop in order to get things for your shop. You go on adventures in a dungeon to get things to sell to other adventurers. That's what little I know from what I played at PAX a while ago, and I've been kind of eager to get my hands on the game since, and I'm going on a trip, and the wonderful people of 11-bit knew I was going on a trip, and I'm like, can you hook me up with a code, like, ASAP? And they're like, we got you, fam. So let's do some Moonlighter, and when I get back from my trip, if people really like what they see, we'll play more. But for now, I don't have too much time to record it, but I'm, I'm squeezing it in, baby. I don't care. Let's go. So we're gonna play on hard because I don't want normal looks like easy. Hard looks like normal and very hard looks like hard. We'll play on hard. We'll see if this is gonna bite me. Now I don't know if this is gonna be roguelite-ish in that there's gonna be constant dungeons or if there's an actual story we're gonna progress around. So among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. All right. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing, ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life had become... Rather, life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of the Moonlighter. Okay, there we go. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth dungeon, a door of the dungeons. He goes on to do so. I imagine. Or at least that's the goal of the game. This game has gorgeous pixel art, by the way. I love it. It looks so pretty. Pixel Art Man has is such a just a cool art form and it's done so well now with technology. It looks great. Whoa! Controls! There we go. So we've got a backpack and we're gonna be a merchant. I love I love this the the hook of games that are like run your own shop and also be an adventurer to stock your own shop to make money. I fucking love. It's like my it's one of my I feel like it's something that desperately needs to be done more in games, or at least done better in games. Like Shopkeep does an okay job at doing like a shopkeep job, but I don't know, man. This doesn't really strike me. Left trigger rolls. I'm playing on PC, but they recommend controller, by the way. Easy enough. Left trigger, we can roll over gaps. Got it. Easy enough. What, what do we got to do here? Oh, we can just roll. Oh, it gives us, like, iframes. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was trying to roll back and forth, and I just fucking died. But okay, it gives us iframes. That's good to know. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Boop. Boop. All right. A is our broom. Right trigger is to heal, I think, is what that is. All right, I got to clean you guys up. It's time to take out the trash. The trash. All right, we did it. Thank you. I don't know if this is giving us like items that we can use later. It says five in the top right, so I can ima yeah, I imagine that we're like collecting potions. Oh, X is a charge, and it sends us charging forward. How interesting. All right, neat. So X to open it, I imagine, is what that's saying. No. A to open. What do we got? Broken swords. We can stack them, and we'll throw them in our backpack for now. And... Foundry rests. I don't know what this is for. Foundry rests. I believe this is the remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? Fairly useless in its current form, but I could easily smelt it down a crack of something new. Cool. Alright, we'll grab these then for now. Is there a way to transfer everything? Quick move all. Yep, there is. I'm just done. Alright. Um, let's go. I gotta move. Okay, this is a little scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we might die here. And I think we might, we're supposed to die. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Heal. Yeah, there's just no way, right? I don't know what they want me to do here, if anything. I might just be dead. I'm being surrounded. Okay. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Yep. Did I lose everything? What? Please tell me I was supposed to die. Shl I got slurped out the door. Okay. Hey, old man. That looked like a, a meant to die. Going in there with a broom might have been the wrong choice, but also a room filled with infinite spawning enemies. What a sorry looking kid. You're all alone now. Rest for a bit. Will, I have you now. Oh, my name's Will. I thought he was gonna be like, will you? Will you rest for a bit? Dude, I'll do whatever I need to do. Hello. Home? Shop. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious for the dungeons. Alright, is that what I did as a child? Because that like, makes me look like a genius. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who's old Pete? Your name's Xenon, as far as I can tell. Morning, boy. Did your little merchant bite off more than he could chew? Or more than he can manage. Should be more than he can chew. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of our family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. Or your family. I'm not part of your family. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. A sword and shield! He's, he's floating very slowly. Now then, get up! You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the, of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Alright. I just want to buy things, fam. Or sell things, I guess. I don't know. Can I open this? No. Hello? Alright, time to, time to run the shop, I guess. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must va know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. All right, well. Welcome in, shoppers! Buy everything you like. What do you like? You want that crystal right there? Ooh, it's very fancy. Only one of two, and that one's on sale. Yes, yes, please, please. I will sell it for you. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Well, this is gonna be an expensive item, isn't it? Buy it, motherfucker! It's the only one we got! I don't give a shit! Buy it! It's- I don't care. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Maybe? What do you want me to do, fam? I can't move. Okay. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge high when something is in high demand and low in supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered <laughs> on our discovered wares and artifacts. Alright. Crystallized energy. Right now, popularity is neutral. It would appear... The energy surging through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. We could harness... How do I move over to that page? Nothing? It seems the sun has fallen on the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy. Thanks, whoever you are, Xenon. I don't know how you related to me in any way, other than my grandfather's, like, friend. Go on now. These wary bones of mine must rest. Alright, see ya, fam. I don't know what the hell you where you want me to go. I don't know where anything is. Hey, are you hot? 
I keep hearing an old rumor about the town da da the dungeons that may be artifacts are easy to find in the all right bye well, yeah see you later nerd I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Good to know. If we ever find one, we can make bank on that shit. All about making money. Capitalism, the game. Ryan would love this game. No question. Alright. Let's do some actual dungeoning with, uh, you know, sword and shield. And I can actually hold X to block. So I guess the broom, each weapon will have different attacks. Uh, I guess this one? Read? Golem Dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Sure, fam. Let's go into the Shlorpy Gloop. I just like to... I don't... Don't... I just... You know, I, it is what it is. Alright, let's do it. Golem Dungeon 1. So I do... I am curious if this changes every time. It would make going into each dungeon more enjoyable. Because I have a feeling we're going to be doing more than just one dungeon run. Ow. All right, is there a way to lock on? Because like, it's a little stiff on how I, I almost operate on a grid-like structure. I can't really, to run diagonally, I have to really press up or down on the joystick. All right, well. Get out of here, get out of here. What am I, that's it, nothing? All right, we got a map in the bottom, which is good. Uh, What do we got here? I can't open my bag, apparently. Can I open it now that I'm not in combat? No. Weird. So you can't look at anything that you collect until later. Oh, that's a little roguelike-y. Or not. I thought that was a shop, but it's not. Alright, we got some stuff. Looks like an adventure dead. Uh, what's up? What you got? A person of hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I, fa I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right! They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marble. Oh, it's Pete! But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeon. It's the fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. Well, I don't know what the hell you mean by that. They seem like dungeons filled with monsters that I can sell things in. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let all of them out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. So, all the keys open the fifth door. Got it. So we have to go through each dungeon, and it seems that, yeah, there is gonna be an actual story we follow. B, 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 B? I need more, I need charge before I can leave? I don't fucking know what the hell that means. Oh, just, it does that. Oh, I can't, I actually can't get out of here. Aw. I mean, I can't leave this room, so I have to hold it. Glorping out. I like everything's glorp technology. Escaped with pendant. So I can only, like, see the things I killed, caught, and that's it. All right. Ooh, Ooh there's a day. It's like an actual calendar. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, dude. First impressions are immediate love. Ah, oh, the young proprietor of Moonlight has returned. You look intact, finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You, you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts that you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed. All right. Whatever that means, I can't move. So we got a board. So we're gonna like be building a town? That's kind of cool. I, it's a gasp. Let's take a look. Investments, town shops. So I can invest in towns. Vulcan's Forge, Wooden Hat. 
So all these cost money. Hawker, banker, all that stuff. I only have 100 gold. And then I can invest in a shop. I can invest in my own shop. All right, that's what the money's for. I like it. So we can't do anything with that yet. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff. Vine. Um, teeth stone, glass lenses, hardened steel, roots. I, I hope I can like do stuff with this. Hardened steel, we have no idea like if people like this price or like any, anything about supply and demand on anything other than the crystals, I think. 200 is too much. 100 seems to be the sweet spot. All right. I wonder if I can, like, smelt first. I don't want to open necessarily. Can I not fuck with this? So I can. Let's bring this down. Before we do anything here, let's see if we can actually do any smelting. No? There's something back here. Okay, that, we already knew that. Open. Okay. Well, we'll have to store everything that we don't necessarily want. Um. I kind of want to hang on to the hardened steel. I can stack the vines, iron bars. I don't know. Like I don't I don't know. Can I not craft? Let's leave and see if there's anything we can craft. Hey, do you Moonlighter, people from all over the visible shop. The hustle and bustle is constant, but now diving deeper, blah blah blah. You can bring a blacksmith to the town using the town board. So I need to start selling enough money for a blacksmith then, so I can start making things, I guess. So for a blacksmith, it's 500. It's actually not that expensive, so we can actually make that happen probably now. So let's actually go ahead and place some things and let's sell it. So I'm gonna hang on to some of this. I'm gonna pop both of these here. I don't know, man, 50? We'll go 100 for the, actually let's go 100 for just both. Um, I kinda wanna hang on to that. We'll go 10 vines and we'll sell 10 vines for like 100. I'm just gonna throw everything in bundles. I can't imagine vines are hard to come by. Fuck it, let's go 200 for 10 vines. And then teeth stone we'll throw down for 100. A stack of 10 for 100. Oh, that's one tooth stone. There. Oh, it's 100 per unit. Oh, can I change that? I cannot. Um, so 100 per unit. Uh, I wanted 100 for all of it, but let's go with per unit. Let's see, 200, so 20. 20 a unit. Um, 10 a unit. There we go. All right. Let's hope for the best, I guess. Hey. Can I help? Can I actually talk to her and help her? No, she just kind of hangs out. I don't have armor or weapons, man. I just got rando stuff. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to my shop. What do we got? Okay, she's happy. Not happy there. She's looking to buy both of them. Let's go ahead and make a sale. All right, so this was too high. We can actually bump this down then. Why don't we go down 15 a unit? We'll drop it. A little bit in price. Look at on the fly bargaining, man. No worries. I'm here for you. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Can I just like close shop whenever I want? I can. That's too far up. We know that that's got a good price. Still too high. All right. Happy to make a sale. Uh, let's go with ten per. And then this is too high, I guess? So we'll go half price on teeth stones. He's mad about it, actually. Sorry, old man. Hey, everybody. Old lady, take the vines, girl. That's still too high. Hang on. That doesn't make any sense to me. 
Let's take a look. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Uh, excuse me? Golem Dungeons. I'm assuming this is it. Hardened Steel we don't know yet. We don't know about these yet. 100 seems to be fine. That seems to be good for glass. 10 is too high for both of these. Which is weird. So, like, maybe two? Uh, he's looking. Hang on. We'll go five on the vines. No, he took the rocks for five. You're out, fam. Take it. Yo, buy those vines, lady. Girl. Girl. Come on. If you can just buy those vines at five apiece, that'll put me right at 500. Fuck! It's so cheap. 30. Um. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll see what they do at 30 a pop here. Or three dollars a pop, not thirty a pop. My bad. And you know what? We'll grab these and do the same here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hey, I run a shop. Don't you love me? Come on, come on. God. All right. You know what? It's a dollar. Make give me ten bucks. Uh, $10! Take the vines! Thank you. We'll sell the teeth stones. That seems to be a sweet spot. There we go. And he's getting a deal, so, like... That's good to know. Alright, I'm closing up for the night, everybody. I'm sorry. Get out. I have, like, nothing left. So, we made enough money to call in a blacksmith, which is kind of what I was going for. So let's go ahead and spend our money. Uh, town. Blacksmith. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve it or bring me enough money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with. Let's go. So I guess it's a pre-dedicated areas in which he's going to build. Hell yeah, dude. Fantastic. We'll, uh, we'll give it a chat and see what he says. Maybe uh, I can get at least some ideas on pricing for, for as, far, as far as I'm concerned, for more weapons for me and weapons maybe to sell. Aye, you must be Will Na, the one who requested me forge. My name is Andre, for forge master extraordinaire. If it's weapons or army you seek, Vulcan's forge is the place. So, can you tell me what's required? Stuff I haven't found. However, I can make myself some dope armor from other stuff. Cool, all right. Well, we're gonna store some things real quick in our home. And I will just kind of store it all. See you later. Oh, the only thing I should grab is this. All right, well, we'll call that a first episode here of Moonlighter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're gonna enjoy. If you wanna see more of this on a new series, especially one that I'm putting up while I'm away, likes and comments help a great deal for algorithm's sake and of course, letting me know that you're enjoying it. Um, I will definitely do at least one more episode, maybe two if I have the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.